Good morning everyone. You can't see me. I've just got out of the shower and I've got my hair in the turban so I thought I'm not going to focus on me today. I'm just going to focus on the workbooks. Well, not even workbooks, worksheets that we're going to be using and have used. Um, this is a vlog about um, homeschooling on the go because as I said earlier, it, well earlier, a couple of days ago, it's a busy week. We're backwards and forwards and doing things. So, uh, Sean says to me, oh, does that mean I haven't got school? No, that doesn't mean you haven't got school. We're taking school work with us. So rather than carry all the numerous books that we would normally be doing, I downloaded a lot of free sheets off Twinkle. I've got them all in this um, one folder, which is where we keep all our work. So yeah, just flick through different things that she's done, like things that we downloaded and seasonal things and that sort of stuff that we've downloaded from Twinkle throughout this school year. And we keep it all in this one folder. So anyway, um, yesterday the worksheets we used on the go. We've started doing times tables. I noticed these are all free things from Twinkle, so I noticed they do all the times tables plus mixed ones. And Sean really does need to learn the times tables. She sort of always saying, Oh, I don't know, I don't know. So every now and again, I start from the twos and go right the way through the tables to rejog her memory. So this is what we're doing over the next couple of weeks this is what we'll do so she started in twos yesterday i think there's three worksheets in there and all different so she did all them no problems with them whatsoever i knew she wouldn't and then um for like in well i suppose this is english and history because it's like comprehension but obviously it's historical stuff it's dealing with so we downloaded some dear diary diaries of the second world war so we've got the comprehension sheets I thought they was really good because, as you know, Sean is interested in war. I'm trying to look what I'm doing from my camera and I'm missing the pages. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the three pages of comprehension that she reads through and I knew she'd enjoy reading through it and soak it up. And then it goes on to, like, um, Dear Diary Questions. And that's all questions to do with what she'll have just read. So she's done all them. And then oh, there's the answer sheet. Do you know I've always photo not photocopy. Take a photo shot of the answer so I don't have to print them. And I forgot to delete it on the print page so it came out even though I'd photoshot it. Annoying. <laughs> so yeah, a part of that as well was I think I've got the back sheet here. Was a vocabulary cheat dear diary vocabulary. So as you can see, it uses all the words, um, different words, and she's got to write what she thinks the meaning of them are. Most of the meanings you can get from the uh, comprehension itself. She's only done three. I'm not sure about the first one. <laughs> so it. You can use a dictionary as well, it says, which is good because it teaches her to use a dictionary, although most people Google these days, but still, Google dictionary. Um, so, yeah, but because she's left that blank, I said, we'll go over that, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we shall be at home. So, we'll be able to go over that and do it together, fill it in together. Then, I just printed off some nice um, sheets that I've got world maps because normally she'd been having geography so i thought what we'll do write down your favorite country i said what's your favorite country she got a few so she picked one germany so i said you know to write down what you liked about it something about it and um a, a favorite bits and then like bits at the bottom she didn't spell rhyme wrong i did for some reason i thought there was an e in it <laughs> and i told her e so that's uh, copying me <laughs> so yeah and like some little facts little geogra geographical facts and then we printed a plain sheet off i'm not sure if i've got this the right way up if it should swing the other way but again with the borders and i said to do the flag of the country you've chosen so she did that so that's what she did yesterday 
Uh, now today, because again we're on the go, we've moved up to table test three now. Again, there's three sheets in there that she'll do. She'll find that easy. Um, also, I've got a designer flag. So, I would imagine it's designing one like your own imagination, but I should think Sean will probably take flags from favourite countries and evolve them together and make a flag like that. Knowing Sean, that's what she'll do. So, she's got that to do. She'll enjoy that. Then I'll find a nice, quick, simple crossword because, you know, crossword. Oh, dear me. Word search. Because, you know, Sean likes a countries. So here, it's a nice simple one, and it's got country names to find. So, yeah. I thought she could sit and do that, she'll enjoy that. And then, for a comprehension and history again, we go on to Scara Bray, which is a um, comprehension sheet. So... Like that, and what I did like about this is though it's free download, I quite often find like such as all these are free downloads, you haven't got the stars on them. So, some of them, like looking at that, is quite a simple, straightforward one for younger children. I mean, maybe they're designed for all ages, I don't know, but they haven't got the stars at the bottom. But here, the three stars is like the I wouldn't say hardest level, but the more in depth level. So this was quite good because it actually had them with the one star, the two star and the three stars. So I was really pleased about that. So I downloaded the three stars for her. Um, actually, I can't show you because I'm used to having my camera on a stand and I'm just holding it today because uh, I don't want to see you in, in my hair up in a towel. Let's <laughs> uh, just stand. Just do it maybe. So yeah, it's two pages of comprehension. Sorry about the quality of this filming today. I'm a bit all over the place. Like I say, we're on the go and I'm off out again. So we've got the comprehension and there's two sheets. There's another sheet behind this as well of questions that she's got to answer to the comprehension. So yeah, that's that. That one I downloaded for another day. I thought when we're nearly finished a year seven science books, so I thought we can do little things like that in place of science, a science book. But anyway, that's not today. These are today. So yeah, we're going to do the Scara Bray comprehension. So that's like history and English combined. We're going to do the word search, country word search, which is quite good because that's good for a spelling as well. She enjoys and doing flags and things so that's like art isn't it and then of course a maths would review the tables so yeah and this is all the sort of stuff we've been doing or will be doing over these couple of days so um that's what i thought we do hopefully tomorrow now we shall be at home tomorrow get a day here so we can do a German they did do German sheets on Twinkle but they're under the paid section there was no free ones so I didn't download them because I haven't got a subscription apparently uh, I've had a letter from them a message saying that I think it's from the 7th of May they're offering cheap discounts giving you a cheaper price a discount on the membership so I'm thinking it might be the time then to get a year's membership and then I can download things. Because they have like three different prices. I, I think I've seen three. I'm not sure, but there's definitely two I've seen. But I'm sure I've seen the third price. But I'm just going to go for the cheapest one because that will give plenty to go at. Because what I want to do is shelve the books. We're going to get up to the end of the modules, do the module questions on each book and then put them up because we want to sort of do a bit more hands-on out and about. And like I say, worksheets are great. You just print off in the morning what you want, pack them into just the one folder, take a pencil case, easy to carry, and you can do work anywhere, anything at all. And you can even download sheets related to a place you're visiting or something like that or to do with what, where you're visiting. So this is what I'm hoping to do over the summer. So I'm just going to get a cheap uh, membership just so we can do that. And then the workbooks then we can go back to in 
autumn time when the weather goes rubbish again. That's providing we have a good summer anyway. <laughs> it could be rubbish too. I'm hoping not. So yeah, that's um, what I'm doing. And this is what we're doing now. So short and sweet today because like I say, we're in rush. We're out and about. Um, I shall... I might come on over the weekend. If I've got something to show you over the weekend, maybe I'll come on over the weekend. If not, I'll come on on Tuesday and we'll see what we can talk about on Tuesday. What I've got. It might be homeschooling. It might be out on the teeny tiny homestead. Or it might be something totally different about life. <laughs> we don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, if I don't see you over the weekend, have a good weekend. And I'll definitely see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.